what can I do for such a... Ow! Oh, you are overstepping multiple lines. Hey there, either holder, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, reaction to Has Been Hotel Season 1, Episode 4. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm not ready for this episode. I'm really, I'm really not. I really, I, uh, uh, I don't like that people are saying this is a tearjerker and that this is like a feels episode. Like, I'm not ready for this. Especially if it's Angel Dust. Angel Dust is like my, probably my favorite character in this show, so. I'm ready, hit me. What is this? Please don't show Angel Dust being torn. Oh, come on. No, no. Please tell me this is like a sex scene. This is a sex scene, right? He's acting. Yeah, no, this is definitely a porno being shot. Yeah. And what's yeah. it to you? Fine. I guess I'll just yeah, this guy's have to big. fuck the information out of you. Yeah, this is definitely a porno. Yep, he's doing his shooting. He's doing a scene. Do your worst. Oh, this Daddy. is so. Oh, you know, this performance won me a sex, sex, sex award. It's a uh, very honest. Oh. Ew. Oh, okay, enough of that. Angel, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Maggie covers Charlie like, oh. Ew, is, oh that's that's Ray, y'all. I'm not saying that works. I don't know if that's allowed or not, but um, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I'm not going back to even look at it, but what did it, what did they say? <laughs> I said I didn't want to go back to that. <laughs> you said it was show and tell day. I'm that's showing not. you my best film. And I'm telling you that it scored me a That kind of is scary that that's his best film and it's him getting rapada. I, I'm, you know what, I just said something thinking that, you know what, that'll hide it. But what if I'm saying something else that's just, I know like rapida is like, rapido is like fast. I, I should not say that because some people are gonna be like, why are you like, you know, the R word. I don't know. There's another R word that, uh, that people would say. I'm not, you know what I'm trying to go for. When? That bitch, Tiffany Titfucker. Yeah. Tiffany Tiff. <laughs> Is that her actual stage name? You know, not a very convincing interrogation scene. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. What makes you think? Only the first part did it seem, but once they started talking, like, like Angel started going, like, do you? It's like, what is this freaking <laughs> one of the mafia films? Do you have any right to insult my work to my fucking face? You really gonna mm -hmm. sit there and act like these scripts ain't hot garbage? <gasps> yes. Oh, you. This is classy art. <laughs> That's bullshit. Nifty, I don't like that you're like enjoying it. But yeah. Anyway, the point I was trying to make is the fact that his best work is him getting art. Um. Kind of scary, and I would not be proud of the. Everyone likes the bitch to the bartender. I know everything yeah, they do. about you, buffoon whose lonely ass watches you idiot sleep. Princess. Oh yes. Is a bleeding heart who wants to solve everybody else's problems except her own. What? No, I. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This one judges everyone and everything because she hates herself. Huh? And nifty. Yeah. She's you a special case. You don't want to know what her deal. Don't get me started. I see right through you and all this. So wait, can we get someone that reads through Husk? Can we like some get someone to <laughs> reveal what Husk's thing is? This bullshit and how fake you are. Oh, me? Fake? Yes. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> At least he's honest. that's why I'm an actor, dumbass. And... Hold that thought. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm... No, 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 I no. just... I... You can no, hear the yelling. I'm not. But, uh, yeah. I'll be right there. The yelling. Well, uh, mm -hmm, sure. You know what? Fuck you. I don't give a shit with some. So why don't you just crawl back to whatever cave you came from, porn critic? Angel, you can't leave yet. We haven't finished our exercises for the day. I'm sure you'll not going to care. I know you want to fix everything, but unless you can fix my boss. <sighs> She's going to go talk to Valentino, isn't she? Isn't she? And Baggy's gonna come along. I don't think Husk will. Unless Husk starts getting like, no, nah, Husk is, I don't think Husk is protective of Angel yet. Yep. Yeah. Um. Hmm. There's nothing you can do. Ugh, yes, there is. Go down there. What the light kick. Wrong? So, you don't really use the power that comes with that, which I love. Yeah, she doesn't. But maybe you can 
don't know. Yeah, it is. It, that's one of the things that's great about Char- Also, I paused it on a weird face for Charlie. Uh, she looks kind of drunk. But um, <laughs> Charlie, yeah, one of the great things about Charlie is that she doesn't flaunt her status or anything. She doesn't, like, use it on others. It's just kind of like, yeah, I'm a princess of hell. It's, like, it's just, like, a title. But she doesn't flaunt it or use it. Command a little more yeah. authority. But that's so mean. Oh, Charlie. It's not mean, exactly. It's uh, aggressive kindness. Okay. Aggressive kindness. Could be so aggressively kind. Like aggressive love. Boss, convince him to let Angel spend more time at the hotel. What if her doing that makes Valentino punish Angel though later on, like badly? Mm. Sure. Oh, oh this is where this scene came from. Do you think anyone watches for the dialogue? Action! No, not really. I mean, let's be honest. When people watch that content they're not really caring what's being said they just want to get to the nitty-gritty grindy bumping whatever oh, no. so many why are all of his stuff like forced like force not forced lines but like forced r word like it's it's r it's r why are all of them like that ew my name's Rocky. No one gives Rocky. <laughs> no one gives it. I'm gonna switch up from this growly, scary creature to my name's Rocky. <laughs> oh, so this is where the magic happens. Charlie. Oh, oh, wow, that is. <laughs> Charlie blushes at the fox demon. Hold on. So this is where the magic happens. Oh. I love how Charlie's gayness comes out. <laughs> She's like, she's like, oh, hi. <laughs> I am the princess of hell, angel, and I go where I please. Is that her effort of trying to be uh, authoritative kindness? I'm here to get you some time off for the hotel. Now, where's your boss? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Coming. Not off camera, you're not. Please, please. please. Not off camera, you're not. <laughs> is Charlie going to get to see how abusive Valentino is? Wait until I'm done working and we will talk about this, I promise. But first, you've got to go. Huh? The fear from Angel? God. What if this is gonna be like really triggering to some people, like if they've dealt with like an abusive like situation like this or a similar situation, like sex worker stuff or even in a relationship that was like the mm. like uh, uh. Ah, your majesty. Oh shit. Welcome. Blake's doing a real good job uh betraying like that fear that like oh shit, I I, I don't want Val's anger like He's doing a real good job. To my humble sex dungeon. What can I do for such a... Ow! Val! Oh, you are overstepping multiple lines. Uh, no, thank you. Mm, <laughs> lovely. Make us both richer than well. Your papito. Fuck no! <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> Your papito. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I have come to aggressively kindly. Also, I want to point out, I noticed this when I was watching the first ep two episodes again. I get it that they're all about hearts and sex and everything, but the symbols on the walls and stuff, they remind me a lot of Alistair's hoofsies, like deer prints. And I wonder if, like when they originally, Vox originally asked Val to be a... Uh, Val... <sighs> I called him Val. When Vox originally asked Alistair to be a part of the, the V's, I wonder if they like put his hoof print, like like that was his choice was that design. Cause it, I, I mean, they may be trying to go for like a broken heart, but typically a broken heart is like a crack. That's like a straight down the line. And it looks a lot like the hoof prints. So I was wondering if that was Alistair or not. Speak with you about Angel. Please, mm. of course. I wouldn't want to stand in the way of your work. <laughs> oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared of Valentino for Angel. Like, like I, I, I. Um. Well then, make yourself comfortable, Your Majesty, and enjoy. He says through gritted teeth. Don't move, you spicy little. Uh, the mic. Cock sleeve, or else silence. Every day in the morning from eight to nine p.m. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes, like, I love how when they're, like, zoomed out from the characters and it's not their focus, their eyes just become, like, little dots. And that's it. <laughs> These blank dots. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we Charlie. too loud? 
I was just telling him about the Hasman Hotel. Not Charlie. At all, princess. It doesn't Princess, you're about to get Angel in some real shit if you don't stop. Uh. <laughs> if you want help with the script, maybe Harley. I can pitch some scenarios that are more uh, Harley. Okay, okay. Uh, All the warnings. Hey, you're in hell. This fits. Hey, you know what? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. We get, ooh. We get to see Val's wings. Because I've heard that he's a moth demon. That's cool looking. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Charlie. I, I, I love you, but Angel. Can I see you in your dressing room for a moment? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Please no abuse. Please no abuse. Please no beating. Please no beating. Don't hurt the spider. I didn't know that you uh, 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 work. No, no, that, that, that's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, no. Uh, you know she can't do anything. I own you. Or have you forgotten that? No. When I say come, you say yes. Wait. Wait, 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 take me back to that contract. Valentine. Or have you forgotten? That's right, because Angel Dust. Angel Dust is just a stage name. So his name is Anth. Never mind, I'm not saying anything. Oh my god! No. When I say come, you say. Yes, Valentino. When I say oh, the voice went deep. 20 guys before lunch, you say yes, Valentino. When I say you what his voice. Wait, is freaking Angel's voice like his usual high pitched voice, just a stage voice, and his voice actually sounds deep? I oh my god. I'll, I'll tell her to leave. Just don't hurt her. I have. Oh, he's protecting her. Even Freck, even with all that threat to him, he says, just don't hurt her. Like, oh, he already cares about her. Nah, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, man. I <laughs> oh, bitches for less than this attitude you're giving me. You're lucky you make me money. Wait, nah, wait. Am I getting this completely wrong? Is he threatening Charlie? Because she's the prince of hell. There's no freaking way that Valentino is threatening to hurt her or kill her. Right? Did I hear that right? That he said that the angel dust said, don't hurt her. Let's talk about Charlie. I'll, I'll tell her to leave. Just don't hurt her. I have killed uh, uh, bitches for less than this ad. Wow, Valentino's actually would be threatening uh Charlie. Damn. You good. I growl. Ooh. Uh, Shit. Alright, get your asses back on set, and we are taking this from the top. What Charlie. You think you can treat oh yes! Yeah! <laughs> Charlie! Charlie! Angel, what are you talking? Oh. Charlie, leave. But, but he's protecting her. I didn't her. want you to come here. Since She's seen it though. You things worse. I, I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm. Ooh, the wings I'm so flex. Sorry. And action. Very good. Oh, is this poison? Tell me this is poison. Lights, the choreography. Wait, who did he- did he just sleep with Val? Okay, I'm sorry for pausing, but I just- That's the only- I probably- I feel like that's the only part. If I have to pause for anything else, I won't pause, but... Was that Val? Oh. Uh, 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 uh okay, we're, we're just gonna- Oh, it- So Val is having sex with Angel does, okay. Was that what she- she that I just saw? Yeah, from your poison. I hope not. I don't want to eat it with mine. God. Uh, uh, such a good song, but oh my god, the scene's going with this. Oh, uh, Angel. He's working all night, literally. Uh, no, can we stop saying that? Oh, 
like kissing. Okay, so Vox and Val are a thing too. All the voice breaks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was good, but so heart right above. <laughs> What's the interaction gonna be like after this? The hardest you can make. Like ten of them. You look like shit. And there goes the facade. Just a long shoot. The mask. Nothing new. Wait, the mask. And the title of the song is Masquerade. I'm surprised they didn't do like a M-A-S-K instead of M-A, the typical spelling of a mask. Mm. If you got a problem, you're not going to find the solution at the bottom of a bottle. I should know. I've been listening for a long time. No, mm -hmm. sure. Under the covers. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can go look together. Don't even start. Oh, come on. Purr. I bet I can make those wings flap. Ah! I bet he can give you a wing boner. <laughs> fake bullshit. Call me fake one more time, mother. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. We're seeing spider eyes. He's got the eyes. Whoa, okay. So Angel does have that side of him. Okay. I dare you. So those little dots on his eyes that are, I think we've all thought for a long time were just like kind of like freckles are actually eyes. Interesting. Fake. Fucking asshole. Oh. oh. Uh, where are you going, Angel? Uh, you know what? What? <laughs> you know how many people mm. would kill? Where did Angel and all of them go? They like abandoned the area. They're like, yeah, we're out. Peace. We're not getting a part of this. Husk, what did you do? Made him a drink. Oh. <laughs> Made him a drink. <laughs> uh, poison drink. Sounds like someone should go after him. Hint, hint, wink, wink. A certain cat, demon, bartender. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Why don't you go if you're so worried? Because I'm not the one who sent him storming out. You yeah. caught him and drag him back. No, no. Yes, please send Husk out, please. <laughs> send him. Don't force him back. Just make sure Talk he's to him. safe. Don't want anything to happen to him until then. It's so sweet because she genuinely cares about him and his well-being and he genuinely cares about her and even is willing to go through what he did to protect her from Val. Like, oh God. <sighs> Lesson plan for tomorrow about boundaries. Boundary. <laughs> the angry cat noise. The black dot. Oh, he's doing lines of angel dust. Was that was that a literal freaking cactus demon that walked by Husk? <laughs> the freaking chest with tentacles coming. Of course. So I said, oh my god! All the sharks. You couldn't have, I got better options, right, boys? <laughs> I'm sorry, is there a freaking shark? Please don't tell me that's a literal snake in that shark's pants. Are they really doing a snake in the pants? I, I, never mind. Oh, uh, no, no you don't. No, Husk. Here you go, Husk is gonna step in. Come on, protect the kitty. Island. Yo, Husk. Oh, bar fight? Let's go. Protective hus. Oh, he uses cars to cut the, the guns. Fuck are you doing here? It's like, what are you doing here? You first tell me to like Amsgray and like, well not Amsgray, Hus didn't tell him to leave. But like literally gets in with us pissed off and he's like, now nah, you're coming after me, follow me to where I want to like chill. I'm taking you back to the hotel. Um, Hus, I think he missed the point of freaking Charlie even said don't force him back. Just talk to him and see if he's okay. Which obviously he wasn't, but like you're forcing him back right now anyway. You just let people drug you all the time? You think I ask for it? I don't ask for any of this shit. You don't have to drink I it. Because I just saw someone self-destructing. It seems he like knows what it's like. I'm gonna open up to you. Please. Maybe song? I'd treat you better if you were real. Song? This is my song, escape. Song, 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 song. Where I can forget about it all. I, how much I hate me everything. Oh. If I end up broken, I won't be his favorite toy anymore. And maybe he'll let me go. That's looking so like... I was an overlord once, you know? Oh. Yeah. While also being a gambler. Mm. You gamble with your life? Gamble Losing souls. A few hands can be more than a little dangerous. Mm. So when you're down on your luck... You Wait, was that like nine lives when he was on his last life? So things look bad and your back's again. Yes. The wall. Seems fucking hopeless. A casual swear. Bar bathroom
Okay, I need to resist pausing, but I just wanted to point out real quick, I love that they're making a reference, I'm pretty sure they are, of Dancing in the Rain. Oh, Ew. Oh, I predict I'm supposed to throw up. You've lost your way. You think your life is wrecked. Say you're correct. <laughs> you're correct? <laughs> what? what? Yeah, this is a Dancing in the Rain. Yes, I'm so happy it's going this route for the song. This is supposed to make me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> You're not alone. I love his eyebrows. But letting walls down, it can sometimes set you straight. The fudge was in there. To a psychopathic freak. I love this. That makes you unique. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. They're dancing together. There's that shot. Maybe that's fine by me. Maybe that's fine with me. Oh, no. All right, this is sorry, my favorite song. We eat shit together. Things will end up differently. It's time to play your card. Be who you are. This is. Oh, I love this. Just You bitch, you dare you interrupt that song. That was yeah. That was a great song. And their voices actually were really har harmonizing really well. Three. Nah, these okay, they need to die now. <laughs> Kill them. Eat my trading cards. God dang. Well, he's an overlord, so or was. Oh, nice upgrade of your gun. Tommy gun, uh, Angel. Yes, yes, suffer! Uh, okay, I was expecting a blow-up, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I bet it didn't. Sex ain't the only thing I'm good at. Good to know. Well, then maybe don't this act like this. The only thing you're good at. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the guy you gotta take orders from. I know. What a oh, the Paul G knows the freaking Charlie's for enough. Oh, sorry, Angel. I'm... It's fine. I get it. Mm. Thanks for caring about me. We all do, Angel. Oh. Uh, I think this is yours. Okay, I think this is. Oh, she carries her. No. He said he forgave me. <laughs> I love you, Charlie. All right, all right. Okay, actually, that uh, ending bar almost got me. Uh, tear me up. Got me tearing up. Oh. All right, well, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Oh boy, that that was a tough episode to get through. Not get through, but that was a tough episode emotionally. Oh my god. Like, it didn't get me to cry, but god, Angel. Mm, like, I, like, I think a majority of the fandom knew that Angel's backstory was going to be like really rough. To witness because like okay with husk like i was not expecting him to be an overlord um but we already knew he had kind of like sold his soul to alistair in a way like made a deal with him not sold his soul but made a deal with alistair um but angel like his stuff is going on right now his contract is right now so god seeing found like i like i haven't been in that situation sex worker or like in an abusive relationship like that um i mean it's not even a relationship because angel's not even like it's not even like they're in a relationship it's more like a force it's like a contract that then is like an abusive i mean i guess you call it a relationship it's not romantic relationship it's still a relationship and it's abusive and oh my god that was ooh like bra first off bravo to the voice actors like it like that whole not just the voice acting, but that animation for those scenes and just the expressions and just, uh, oh, that really sold, like, the pain and the anger and just all that stuff into the song Poison. Like, I've already heard the song Poison, but got seeing it in the episode and with the expressions and everything just really sold that whole part. 
Hmm. I think this is actually my favorite episode now. For sure. Yeah, no, for sure. This is my favorite episode right now. Um. No. Uh. Oh, okay. So, let me, let me talk about plot for the episode. Um. I. I was expecting it to hit into, like, Angel's, like, the... I knew we were going to have to soon. Like, it... it Again, going, this is going based off, I think, it's only eight episodes for the first season. Um, uh, like, I'm like, we're going to have to see some of, his, like, what's going on with Valentino and him. Like, his relationship with Valentino and how he's being treated and stuff. I'm like, we're going to see some of that soon, I feel like. But not to that extent where, like, Charlie actually goes there. And the contract's brought up, like, him getting beaten. Like, it was just, like, it. it Valentino reminds me a lot of, like, Mammon with... Uh, f uh, Fizz or Fizz or Fizzy, um, kind of reminds me of that. Except Fizz wasn't under contract with Mammon. It was just he just, you know, worked for Mammon. There he was not under no contract. He wasn't being forced into it. It's just he felt that he didn't want to let Mammon down and let Ozzy down and stuff. So he stayed with that. Um, but he could leave at any time. Like he he can quit. Whereas this is contract. Like this is sex workers and stuff. So it's just like, hmm. I want to know what led to Angel actually making a deal like that with Valentine. Like, what state was Angel in that he made that that deal? Yeah, we got to see that. That was toughy. But then we get to see Angel uh, Husk Dust. What is it called? I think it's Husker, Husker Dust. Angel Angel Husk. I'm not sure what their ship name is. I like I I'm I mainly stayed away from most of the ship stuff. Uh, and after the pilot, like I stayed away from like what the ship names were and like all that like all that stuff mainly because i'm just like ah, i didn't really interest me i kind of like the characters the way they are i don't really ship anyone um the one i did think was cute though was i think it's called hustas like, i think that was the only ship i was interested in I'm like oh they could be cute like i could see them like you got the rough rough you know bartender with the with angel dust who's like you know acts has a bravado and acts like he's you know not tough shit but like the best of the like hot stuff in a way and Husk would just be like, no, you're not. <laughs> so, like, it, it was a dynamic that I liked if they did, like, uh, like, if they're, like, if I were to go with the ship, it was them. Um, so it definitely seems to be leaning toward that. Actually, can canon canonically, um, possibly, which I'm good either way, to be honest. If they don't go anywhere with it, if they just go, you know, if they become really close friends, I'm fine with that, too. But they take it somewhere, I'm like, hey, they're cute. I like them. So I'm not rooting for a ship. In a way, like I'm not rooting for them to become a thing. It's just more like, no, I like them. I like their, I like their dynamics. So especially like that song with them being both losers and like having made deals and wanting to escape them and stuff. Like I, I like that. Um, but yeah, the the plot for this episode was great, uh, amazing. Um, also, no Alistair. I think I think this is the first episode so far. Alistair wasn't in it. Um, characters. Everyone is amazing. Charlie is just such a sweetheart. Charlie really is the, I just want to do all good. I'm like, Charlie is the embodiment of like <laughs> kindness, love and everything. It's just so weird. Actually, no, it's not weird that she's the child of Lucifer and Lilith when you see like how their thing was, at least for this story. Um, I don't know if that's accurate, like and in any folklore or book or anything like that. I don't know if that's accurate in a way, but like for uh, if it is its own unique thing, I like that they're kind of like they, it was out of pure love that Charlie was made. Um, so it makes sense that she would be nothing but love. She's all about forgiveness and kindness and love and, you know, f trying to make, yeah, trying to help people be better and all that stuff. Like, uh, uh, that's what I think the thing I love about Charlie, which some people probably get annoyed by and say, oh gosh, she's so like overly optimistic and stuff. Um, and she is. To the point that, I, like, she got Angel Dust into deeper shit and stuff. And even almost got herself into d deep trouble. Which then Baggy would have had to come down. Like, it would have it would have been a whole thing. I, I also find it very interesting that Valentino has no qualms to possibly hurt Charlie. Like, that's kind of scary. But he's willing to possibly hurt Charlie, Lucifer's daughter, who's the, the king of hell? Prince of hell? Pretty sure it's king of hell. She's a princess. Yeah, she's a princess of hell. So Lucifer's the king of hell. So, like, Val, Val not being scared of that both makes me wonder if he just doesn't have any, like, self-preservation like, things. Like, he doesn't care. Or it's that he actually, it's scary and he actually 
can actually hold his own or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Valentino definitely went from like, I had a, like, I, we've always like felt that Valentino, like him being, um, like we saw from the comic from Vivzi's team, like Vivzi and her team, of the relationship between Val and Angel, uh, and how abusive Valentino could be and everything that we already knew that, or at least, I won't say we, I'll just speak for myself that I knew going in that Valentino was going to be abusive and stuff like that. I wasn't sure if they were going to stick with it, like if anything changed since that comic they came out, that short comic they came out with. Um, but I'm like, nah, this is going to get rough, uh, watching how Valentino treats Angel. And I like that it's not, it wasn't out of nowhere. It wasn't just, oh, we made a mistake on the shooting and then Valentino just snaps and stuff. It's that Charlie comes in, really messes up the shooting and everything. And then Valentino snaps and brings him into the back room, like the into his uh, dressing room and stuff. Um, like, mm, that, that was so uncomfortable to watch. I felt so I, I felt so bad for Angel, and I I think that's the closest I got to like crying, like actually like kind of like <laughs> like started to cry was when he said, "Don't hurt her," and his voice cracked. Like he he that shows he just cares so much about Charlie, like because she does care about him and stuff. And everything that he doesn't want anything to happen to her. Oh my god. That, that was so like... Ooh. The feels with that. And then like at the end when she hugs him and stuff. And, is, and he's like, thanks for caring. And, and I, uh, that, that one got me to tear up. That one got me the closest to tearing up. Like tearing up. That one got that one got me to tear up. The line of don't hurt her almost made me like burst into tears. Like that one. I was just like, oh no, please. <laughs> um... But yeah, okay. Anyway, so I don't go on and on about uh, this episode. Plot was amazing. Uh, it was tough, but amazing. Um, characters were great. Valentino, God, I hate you, but I love you at the same time. Like, Valentino is... I think Vox is more of a... love. Like, I love Vox. I haven't seen him be... scary toward anyone yet, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Valentino... I find him funny, but I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. Whereas Adam, like, Adam is a character that I feel like I'm gonna love to hate. Like, he he annoys me with his whole, like, his whole, like, he's talking about his his package and stuff. That stuff, I'm just like, eh, don't like him. But, the like, his attitude and, and everything I like, so, or not attitude, uh, the, 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 his personality is, like, fun to watch, but I don't like him as a character. Um... Uh, so Valentino is more of a hate because I don't like the way he treats, uh, the way he treats Angel Dust and everything. Like I just, uh, Valentino is the kind of character where I'm like, oh, like if he died, I'd be like, ah, oh, you know what? I liked watching you because you were funny sometimes, but nah, good riddance, go bye. <laughs> but interesting that they that Fox and Valentino do have a. I don't know if it's a relationship thing, like if there's any like feelings there, or if it's just sex, pure sex that they have going on because uh, I wasn't sure like from the interaction in the second episode we had of Fox and Valentino I was like I'm not getting any vibes here that they are like even having sex with each other it was just kind of like boss to maybe like uh, co-worker not co-worker but like Fox is the one above Valentino kind of thing so interesting that we saw them kiss in this episode um but then we did see Valentino having... So that's the other thing. So I'm like, does Val have sex with Angel Dust? Or is that like a... I don't have sex with my my workers kind of thing. But then we saw that he does. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Characters were great. Um, animation. Great in this episode. Just uh, the expressions alone and everything were wonderful. Uh, also, Husk. Love to see more of Husk. Um, Keith is definitely growing on me. Uh, I still... <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I think what it is is the gruffness. The gruffness from the original VA. I really liked for Husk because as, as it's already seen, he's a gambler drinker and like he's drank before. Um, but uh, I am loving Keith's like deepness, the de deepness of Keith's voice for Husk. Like that, mwah, great. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to really like uh, Keith uh, at voicing for uh, I really love Keith's voice for Husk. So, um, 
Especially the singing. Oh, that was such a good song. <laughs> Them together. That was. So, I love to. I thought I'm like, are we really gonna go for like? Hustle doesn't seem like the kind of character to sing like an uplifting, lift you up kind of song. So when it went the route of now nah, you're a loser like me, we're both at the bottom of the barrel. Like I love that. That was great. Um, and it was in like the style of like Dancing in the Rain, uh, musical. So that was great. Um, uh. Yeah, and the last part is the music, and I've already kind of talked about it, but yeah, um, easily, I would say overall for all the songs in the episode, or in an episode, this episode, I loved all the songs. Like, all the songs I loved. Um, as for, like, my favorite songs now for the series so far, it's actually kind of tough now. So I really liked Vox and Alistair's. I really liked uh, Velvet's. Um... This one, I liked all three of them. Honestly. They were both... Oh, God. Mm. God. Poison was great. Or fantastic. House Can the Angels song was great. God. Oh. I might... Mm. I think that... Problem is Vox, Vox and Alice, which I really loved for the beat and everything, and the fact that it was like a diss track toward each other, that was great too. Oh god, that's really you know it's really hard. I honestly don't know if I could pick a favorite because I really loved like all those songs equally. So I think. Okay, let me say this: if I were to repeat a song over and over and listen to it, it would be probably Poison, then Vox and Alistair's. Then Velvets. Uh, no, wait. I see Velvets and the one with Husk and Angel might be tied. Yeah, so I'll just I'll just put Poison at number one, and then Vox and Alistair, and then tied would be Angel Dust and Husk, Angel and Husk song, and then Velvet song. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna tie those two because honestly, picking one over the other, they were both great. Um, but yeah. Who? Okay, that definitely got me in the feels for this episode. Um, so like. This is the episode that's giving me the most feels so far. Like, oh god, that was both hard. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm glad. Like, I'm glad Val. Uh, Val I'm glad Valentino didn't threaten Nuggets. I honestly, that's what I kind of thought when he said, "Don't hurt her," because I know I'm pretty sure Nuggets or Fat Nuggets is a female, is a female piggy. So I wasn't sure Val may have mentioned something about Nuggets, and that's why all of a sudden Angel's like, "Don't hurt her" and stuff. But for him to be that protective over uh, Charlie. That's why I was like, oh. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of, I wanted to see like Fat Nuggets comfort Angel more. Like I know we saw Nuggets uh, in the second episode. No, was it first? No, second episode. First? I don't remember which, which, which one it was. Uh, but when Nuggets comforted Angel while he was laying in bed. For, I think it was the second one, yeah. Because it was Pen when Pen just came into the hotel and stuff. Yeah, so it was second episode. Um, when Nuggets comforted Angel. Like, I'd like to see more of Nuggets. Nuggets is adorable. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link in the description and pinned comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep ring bright. See ya!